And after categorization, um, then you get into the, you know, that's the whole sort of theoretical framework, right? Then you get into the idea of intervention, right? And this is where you are uh, analyzing the text according to the first four elements uh, that I just talked to above, okay? And so when you're analyzing things, you're analyzing things based on a problematic, based on a certain aspect of the text you're looking at, and then based on a certain argument that you have uh, with categories. And when you go through your analysis, you want to engage in a dialogic and dialectical sort of method. So dialogic means that you're, you're not you know, writing um, to win an argument right, like a lawyer. You're writing to persuade someone, to persuade the reader uh, that you're writing for, the general reader, or you're, uh, the person that you're talking to within the seminar, right? So you're trying to convince them and persuade them that your argument, um, you know, has merit, right? In order to do that, you need to engage in dialogue with them because your argument will be made stronger by the person that you dialogue with or dialecticize with. So that's a key element to critical thinking. Critical thinking is not genius thinking, you know, Einstein sitting on a beach and coming up with ideas, right? Critical thinking is really uh, only emerges from uh, the dialogue that we have others with others. Critical thinking is that in between, between the self and uh, the other, right? And so you always want to be engaging in dialogue, right? Um, in, in order to grow your ideas. So your dialogue partner will... Uh, critique what you're saying, uh, will uh, challenge it, will play devil's advocate, will produce antithetical, you know, sort of ideas, right? But this is all good. This all str will strengthen your argument and allow you to, you know, move on to, uh, you know, a larger idea. So critical thinking is predicated on the idea that, uh, you know, our ideas are not perfect by any means uh, as they come out of our head and they need to be grown and they can only be grown through dialogic interaction with, uh, in the seminar. Uh, so, you know, it's the opposite of sort of what goes on in a lecture, right? This idea of dialogue and, and dialectics, right? So uh, analysis is not just saying I read the book and here's what's in the book. Analysis is saying, well, I read the book and I think this because, and what do you think? And so you're always looking at the other person and you're trying to think, well, you know, how are they going to come at it and what do they think and try to incorporate that into your thinking.